all right guys welcome back to the channel west here today we've got some news to talk about regarding spider-man 2 that you guys do not want to miss the next reveal is imminent the community director james stevenson posted a cryptic tweet that could be teasing that news is happening soon with spider-man 2 along with that we got some new information regarding the map size for spider-man 2 as according to a fan that actually pointed out something from the trailer that we all missed so we're going to dive into that voice actor tony todd revealed some new information regarding venom's role in the upcoming sequel and according to the miles morales actor they also tease that something is happening this year everything is all leading up to something a big reveal event obviously we didn't get anything at the game awards we didn't get a playstation showcase or a state of play for spider-man 2 and up until this point insomniac games has stayed relatively silent which has caught them a fair bit of criticism but i feel like everything that's been happening lately for spider-man 2 it's all leading up to one big reveal that like i said could be happening very soon so we're going to talk about all of that and much more so definitely stick around until the end of the video because you guys do not want to miss out on everything so starting things off let's talk about the cryptic tweet from community director james stevenson who went on twitter on saturday and posted a gif of spider-man 2 now could this mean that we're getting a reveal for the game coming very soon it's a strong possibility everything that we're going to talk about in this video kind of all leads me to believe that something is happening this year but that might not be in the form of a full reveal for Spider-Man 2. And rather, Peter and Miles from the games could have a cameo in the new Across the Spider-Verse trailer that's actually set to drop on the 13th. Now, it's possible this tweet from James is actually in relation to a reveal of the game, but honestly, everything is pointing me to believe that this is relating to Across the Spider-Verse rather than the game, which I think is still awesome news. I personally would rather see a full reveal of Spider-Man 2, but if our Peter and our Miles are going to be featured in Across the Spider-Verse's new trailer, I think that is just as cool now what's funny is the actor for miles morales went to his instagram and actually teased that something is happening this year like i said this could be possibly related to marvel spider-man 2 but i think that this is just him teasing that he will be featured in the across the spider-verse trailer which i really hope is the case in the video he stated but wait there's more and we're gonna end the year off right with you all so could we see a reveal for marvel spider-man 2 before the end of the year i think it's entirely possible but like i said i doubt that this is what james Stevenson and Najee are actually teasing. Now, the ideal situation is that the Across the Spider Verse trailer releases and we get new details of what Peter and Miles are actually doing in their current universe. Will we actually get to see Marvel Spider Man 2 in the trailer? With Across the Spider Verse having multiple different art styles, the trailer on the 13th could actually give us a next preview of Marvel Spider Man 2. This might be another look at the graphics in the game and even some possible gameplay is showed. Right now, the sky is the limit. The trailer drops sometime on the 13th so definitely stay glued to the across the spider-verse twitter for that announcement because like i said we could get marvel spider-man 2 news next up according to the spider-man ps4 reddit we actually have some news regarding the game world of spider-man 2 according to the trailer looking at the alley where venom will eventually show up there's some graffiti on the wall to the left that states 718 which the reddit user actually pointed out the 718 is actually the area code for not only brooklyn and queens but also staten island so marvel spider-man 2's world size is going to get even bigger featuring all three brooklyn staten island and queens this is all incredible information because it means that they're expanding the game world so instead of swinging around in these same locations for basically three games in the series this time for spider-man 2 we've got some new locations to discover a fan actually commented i think that expanding the map to queens and brooklyn makes a lot of sense as that's where peter and miles respectively are originally from being able to swing into queens and brooklyn is going to be so awesome this is going to be such a fun open world game Game, and I'm so glad to see this discovered by this Reddit user. The user's name is 1400 Dig, which is kind of funny because they were digging through that trailer and they ended up finding some gold. So great job digging that up. With all of that being said, the world size for Spider-Man 2 is going to be massive. Just how massive is something we will have to wait for. But now that we know that they're drastically expanding the map for Spider-Man 2, I have no doubt in my mind that we're going to have that same exploration and fun finding new locations we've never seen before, as well as teasers and hints that are related to the actual map and the local locations based on the lore of the universe moving right along we've got some news regarding tony todd the voice of venom's role in spider-man 2 in a recent podcast with deeper thoughts youtube channel actor tony todd revealed some information regarding how the story will be for spider-man 2 and what kind of sequences could be happening with this new game in the interview he hinted at the first fight with rhino and miles morales as kind of an example of what players should expect as his role in venom in the upcoming sequel as you guys can see on the screen right here here is what it looked like in miles morales you've got miles and rhino doing an epic sequence with different real-time events miles was trying to stop rhino while rhino is basically just destroying everything in their path tony todd 
said that Spider-Man 2 is going to be very similar to that. So I think it's safe to assume that there's going to be one big chase, likely with both Miles and Peter trying to chase after Tony Todd's Venom in this new game, which I cannot wait for. I know a lot of people criticize real-time action events in video games, but I think Spider-Man, PS4, and Miles Morales took those to a new level, and I can't wait to see Insomniac's work in this new game, especially utilizing the power of the PlayStation 5, which it sounds like they will indeed be having to tap into that power, especially since, like I talked about, not only are we going to be able to explore Brooklyn, but also Queens and Staten Island. Spider-Man 2 is set to be the ultimate experience, and I think that's why we didn't get it revealed during the Game Awards. If you look at all of the other games revealed at the Game Awards, PlayStation had a lot of news to share, including the new Final Fantasy Death Stranding, the new Horizon Burning Shores DLC, but one thing that was absent that was pretty apparent that it was absent was Spider-Man 2. This leads me to believe that the next news that we get for Spider-Man 2 is going to be in the form of a state of play or PlayStation showcase where that game is the center of it all. Now, when that's going to be is something to be questioned, but I have a feeling that it's going to happen sometime in February or March. PlayStation is going to be rolling out the red carpet for this game because it is their next big game releasing in 2023. So they're going to make sure that everything is perfect because next year that is going to be the game that they rely on to really drive numbers and console sales especially since that we likely won't get wolverine releasing next year either so realistically all eyes are on spider-man 2 next year right now the current release date speculation for spider-man 2 is sometime in late summer or early fall of 2023 with an august or september release date if you take a look at the launch window for spider-man 1 that also released in september of 2018 as well so it definitely makes sense for it to release sometime then but i think one of the reasons that they really haven't announced the release date for spider-man 2 is to kind of make sure that they avoid releasing alongside any of the other other big juggernauts that are releasing next year. Spider-Man 2 releasing near the same time as like, let's say Zelda Tears of the Kingdom or even Starfield would not be the greatest move. So I'm sure that's why they're gonna be holding off on the actual release date until later, whenever Insomniac Games is fully confident in that release date. And honestly, with how vocal they have been on Twitter, if the game is not ready to be released in 2023, then I have a feeling they're just gonna hold the game until it's ready for release, especially considering this is a big game for them. And I know for a fact that PlayStation is also gonna wanna make sure that this game is perfect as well but according to the senior community manager at insomniac games they confirmed with the umpteenth quadrillion times that it's really seen in 2023 the agent of doom said on twitter 2023 period so we appreciate you dealing with all of our craziness because we are just ready for the game to come out but it is still confirmed that it's releasing in 2023 which is good news this tweet from the community manager obviously comes after all of the influx in the twitter trend of people asking when spider-man 2 is going to release and will it be at the game awards a lot of people were disappointed that the game wasn't and showed off then but like i said it's still confirmed for 2023 and it wasn't at the game awards for the reason that i just mentioned it'll be at a playstation showcase or a state of play and they're gonna talk about the game when the time is right whenever i see tweets of people stating if you care about your fans give information about spider-man 2 it's been one year and three months isn't it time to show something is kind of ridiculous this is actually a tweet that somebody posted to insomniac games which is pretty crazy because to say they don't care about their fans is just wild insomniac responded by saying we care about our fans which is why we'll share more when it's ready to be shared. It's so crazy how hyped Spider-Man 2 is compared to the last time. I know we were all excited for Spider-Man 2 and Miles Morales, but this game just seems like it's on an entirely new level. And I'm so genuinely hyped to see what Insomniac Games has been working on, because like I said, it's looking like that this game is gonna be one of the biggest experiences that Spider-Man fans have ever gotten, and it might never be topped. But yeah, guys, that is gonna wrap it up with this video. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you're excited for Spider-Man 2. Will we see a trailer for Marvel Spider-Man man 2 or is it just going to be across the spider-verse and furthermore do you think there's going to be gameplay for spider-man 2 in the across the spider-verse trailer let me know in the comment section like the video if you have not already subscribe to the channel and also i'm giving away a playstation 5 so definitely enter that giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to my channel and tweet me proof that you're subscribed and use the hashtag on twitter nemo ps5 thanks again for watching this has been wes and i will talk to you guys on the next video